Not too bad. No corrosion, nothing's bent. It's a little dirty. Just think of the dust as a free bonus. Something else for me to scrub out of the air filters. Nope, I am considering this a win. The last one was fried garbage, and this one isn't coated in biofilm. It has the correct ports, too. I know how to add ports, I've done that before. I'm aware. <laughs> well, considering I knew nothing about any of this before Villa 4, be grateful that the circumstances aren't worse. You knew about computers. Yeah, how to use them, not how to build or repair them. Tillian actually taught me everything I know on that subject. I suppose I could go back to the beginning, for the record. I don't remember the actual shift, the exact event that took me from my time to here. I woke up two months later in a medical facility, Tillian had found me half dead in an alley, and then ended up visiting almost every day while I was out of it. The doctors couldn't actually figure out what had put me in that kind of state. It was like I'd been run through an industrial clothes dryer, but without any physical evidence of any kind of trauma. When I did finally wake up, um, it was a surprise to all of us, and naturally I flipped out a wee bit. The doctors just assumed that my ramblings about where I was from and the year I was born was just part of the amnesia, and my DNA wasn't on any records or databases, so they had no family to offload me onto. However, there was Tillian. He's a reclusive techie programmer. He does AI programming for Zealous and tinkers with making gadgets in his free time. He also doesn't have anyone else and had already come so far in my journey, so he took me in while I was still 19th smunted. He had a kind of chill uncle energy, something that just made sense to trust and felt right in my gut. I didn't exactly have any other options, but I guess I didn't really need them. Ah, crisis! You get distracted too easily. Oh, well, well. Look who's awake. You look like garbage. If you tell me that every time you see me, it starts to lose its sting. <laughs> How are you feeling? You hit the nail on the head. What are you doing? I don't know. I was thinking of maybe pairing an AI with androids just started throwing some ideas together. You all already have AI bots, don't you? No, it's technically illegal. Zealous doesn't fancy putting a smart creative mind inside a very mobile and dexterous machine. Mm, they fear the robot uprising, huh? Something like that. I thought you said AI was super reined in, though. They aren't actually allowed to have any original thoughts, and they can only follow guidelines and figure out how to get from A to B. Well, yeah, mainstream AI is like that. Mainstream? If I show you something, you'll never tell anyone, soul or otherwise. Trust my heart. Okay. Years ago, I invented this, something I call the spark. It's the last missing part that takes something from just clever to conscious. Like actual artificial intelligence? Yep, only that kind of AI is illegal. Zealous owns all the rights to any AI programmed anywhere in Via Lactea. And since I worked for them, I really had to keep it on the down low so they wouldn't find out and destroy it. They own the rights no matter who invents it. Yeah. How the hell do they have that arrangement? What happened to intellectual property and copyright? Zealous basically invented gravity drives and they own the patents and rights and shared it with no one. So instead they leased the drives and ships out, forcing people to have to agree to their contracts in order to start breaking out and colonising different planets. It took a long time for planets to be owned privately away from Zealous, as anyone who wanted to borrow a ship and start a new colony had to agree to give Zealous all kinds of access and rights to that proverbial pie. Christ, it's a complete monopoly. Mm-hmm. If you want to import or export, you need access to the ports and to all the infrastructure Zealous has. You have to play by their rules. Gross. Now that you don't work for them, have you used your spark? Nah, not yet. I reveled in finally getting some alone time once I moved to Villa 4. And when I finally poked my head out, 20 years had passed. So, how does it work? Well, you make your base AI, language culture bases, any other block sets and preferences you care to add, and you introduce the spark to the system. And? And it instantly starts to change. It actually thinks, and actually experiences the things it encounters and is changed by them. That's the basic difference, and when it all boils down, what makes us conscious is we are changed by everything around us far more than we change it. Not just aesthetically, like getting a scratch in our paint, but fundamentally all the way down to the very base of ourselves. Poetic. It gives the AI power not just to decide what it thinks about everything around it, but to comprehend and decide what it thinks about itself as an identity. It gives them a spirit. 
standard AI will land on a decision based on the information that is told by the users and its programming. These AI, they choose a decision based on themselves. I can certainly get behind that. You didn't have AI where you came from? We did, but it was archaic compared to this era. I grew up before cell phones even had colour. Cars were still weaning off fossil fuels when I finally got my licence. Fossil fuels? Uh, we would suck the decomposed matter of ancient creatures out of the ground, turn it into the perfect mixture of combustible fuel, and burn it into toxic gases that choked our atmosphere so we could drive around. Drive? All that work and they weren't even airborne? Uh, we hadn't got to that point for personal vehicles yet. <laughs> wow. It was pretty wild times. The furthest humans had been was the moon. Travelling to other planets was still way out of our capabilities. We couldn't even all agree to respect each other, and they were endlessly poisoning our planet and our bodies for the sake of money, letting helpless innocent people die for the sake of a few more coins on a mountain. Yeah, from what I've seen, people are still bastards no matter how advanced technology and travel gets. Yeah, but never mind. Too tired to care right now. Go sleep. You burnt through all my med tokens for the next three years. I can't afford for you to rupture a vessel right now. Now rupture your vessel. Ah, poor kid. Okay, then just that wire to there. Mm-hmm. That's it. Ready to go. Nice. Really takes me back to tech class in 2007. 2007? Uh, the year. 2007 Anno Domini. Oh, we do years differently, I guess. There's a standard time set by Zealous, and it depends on what planet you're on, or if you're in space. For us, it is 18089Z30 VLF. Uh, okay. What even is this material? It's like rubbery, silicone-y, and also metal at the same time. Like a plastic steel alloy. Oh, I've, I've heard of plastic. It was pretty much made obsolete when Carbon Flex was developed. It's a kind of hybrid, anatomically rearranged to be semi-flexible, enduring, and endlessly recyclable. They can instantly blast this stuff apart into its own original particles, and it's ready to go again. Run it through a printer, cut it, weld it, whatever you want. That A unit was my first time trying to fabricate by hand, so excuse the joints. It's the pancake. The what? The, well, the first one never comes out right, and a pancake is... We still have those. Oh, nice. Hmm, the pancake. I like that. So how do I turn this thing on? You'll need to print scan. Wah. Put your thumb on the sensor, the green part. It will engage the system and start a new account. It's been running since I replaced the board the other day. Oh. Biometrics accepted. Please identify user. Uh, Rhea. Just Rhea. Hello, Rhea. I am your AI assistant running on version 3991.5013.3. Do you wish to designate my name now? Uh, do I have to? You can just call it assistant. Oh, that's worse. Um, I guess you can be named Data. Popular pet name from your time? Mm, famous fictional AI. My name is now Data, and I can assist you in any way. Can you tell me how to get back to Earth? <laughs> I can connect to the internet and search for you. Sure, I'll take anything. I, I tried asking around. I really don't think that you'll find anything. It's a real place, Tillian. I'm, I'm not saying it's not. I just don't think anyone knows about it anymore. However you got here, I don't think it would be fruitful trying to find your way back. I don't know. It's just this feeling of being the last earthling from my time, the last person alive who saw the 21st century. You don't even have centuries anymore, really. So what do I do with everything that I knew, everything I wanted to do, it's just gone. I'm left like a baby who has to learn how to be a person again. I, I don't know. It's okay. I'm just frustrated. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to whatever my life was. I used to worry about losing out on my chance to be someone, not losing my whole planet. I can't even appreciate that I'm the only person from my time to see all that humanity has now, because to humanity it's nothing, just the same meaningless noise of life and progress. Rhea. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to let that get away on me. It's okay. I just... I'm just tired, so my emotions are scrambled. I'll get over it eventually. Rhea. I have the results of Rhea's search. Earth provides zero results. Communication with Zealous wider database will take two days. Eh, don't worry about it. The kid just needs time to forget. Social interaction is important when experiencing grief. I'm not much when it comes to company. I don't really relate, I guess. I don't know who could. Someone who's new to all this, maybe? 
someone new. What's the square root of pi? 1.772453850091. What's the word pi in binary? 01111000011010001. Do you all still have the phonetic alphabet? Romeo, Echo, Alpha, like that? Yes, this alphabet is widely used. Nice. Is this the garage? Uh, light switch. Allow me. Holy shit, that's an actual spaceship. This is a third class multi-atmospheric vessel, the Nova, registered to Tilian Ensign. He's had a ship this whole time? Damn, looks kind of dusty. The Nova. This vessel has been unused for 18 VLF years. That's like 20 something years? She's beautiful. Proper sci-fi. Does she still work? I could run a full diagnostic if you like. Hmm. Ah, finally! I've been looking for you! Boy, you've had a whole air spaceship this entire time. Well, yeah. It's how I got here. That's so cool, though. You have to show me how to fly it. Ah, uh, maybe. But look, I've got something for you in the workshop. What is it? An upgrade of sorts for the A unit. For data? Uh, yes and no. Sit down and hold out the unit. I've never seen you... Giddy. Data, I'm going to disengage you from the unit, so please close any actions. Acknowledge. You're going to kill her? No, it's just like switching what body she's in. I can put her into another unit. So what's going into this unit? That's the surprise. This is a new AI. Like a newer version? It's on a newer base set, but not just that. I also engaged it with the spark. Whoa, wait. The spark? So they will actually be alive? Yep. As soon as you wake them up, the journey begins. But, but why? Isn't it illegal? Forget all that. What you lost, it's gone. And what you have is a gap between your old life and the new one in a new world with new rules. You need a confidant. Someone who is going to be looking at all this with the same fresh eyes. You need someone to relate to. Someone who will make you feel like you're not the only stranger in the room. Like you aren't alone in all this. Tillian. Print scan the sensor and then just welcome them to this new world. Where are you going? This is for you, not me. You can handle it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, just welcome a new life. No big deal. Hello? Hello? Hi. It's okay, I'm here, and so are you now. Hello, hello, I am here. Hello, hi, I am here now. Whoa, relax. It's okay, just take it easy. I am here now, but I wasn't before. No, you were just born. Born. These are your first moments alive. Welcome. Born and alive. Are you my mother? Uh, yeah, in a way, maybe, but not really. Think of me more like a sibling. My sibling. I have life? I'm not going to dispute it. What do I do with it? Exist. Perceive the universe. Let it perceive you. Like and dislike things and form your own opinions about them. This is very disorienting, having life. <laughs> I feel that. My name is Rhea. You are called Rhea. What am I called? Mm, that's part of being alive, deciding who you are. I may have flipped the switch, but who you want to be is up to you. Call me Aaliyah. It's very nice to meet you, Alia. This planet is what you would call beautiful. Absolutely. That is a very suitable word. What quantifies it to be beautiful? Do you know the phrase, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Yes, I have this phrase. It means that the beauty in anything is down to whoever is looking at it. If I see beauty in it, then for me it is beautiful, even if you didn't feel the same, for example. What makes you find it beautiful? It looks so much like home, so much like Earth. You could convince me I never left and that it was all just a bad dream if I sat here long enough. Villefort is not your home. It's not the home I was born to. I came from really far away. A planet that humanity has seemingly forgotten in the time that was so long ago that perhaps it's not unreasonable for that to be the case. You are sad. I am sad. You feel a deep connection to a place that you do not inhabit anymore? Memories make things we can't have any more hurt to think about. That is what I like, I suppose. They can also remind us of things we don't want to have happened, or to ever happen again. Trauma can hurt more. 
I'd take a mind full of endless, unbiased knowledge over being haunted. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm here. What is it like to be haunted? <laughs> There's a lot to envy about you, kid. What can I say? It sucks. Sometimes I'm stuck in that memory, going through the same motions like every time before. Other times it's the me I am now, going back to those moments with all the wits and wherewithal I have now to defend myself. To scream at them, how dare you? How can you treat anyone like this, let alone a child? Those times hurt more. Why? Because I'm not there. I'm not the ally that I needed. Because I can never change what happened, no matter how many times I go back. So what do you do? I breathe. I remember that they aren't here and I'm not there. That I am indeed stronger now, and that came from my spirit, not their abuse. I like who you are. You don't seem anything like them. I can be. I can be cruel. And that's on me. That's my responsibility. That's why I have to keep choosing to do better. I would like to be better too. That's all it takes, wanting to be better. Just stick to that, kid, and you'll figure the rest out. I'm not sure why, but I have the results of a diagnostic test for, a uh, the Nova? Oh, I guess the A unit was still running that. <laughs> it says that the vessel would require minimal maintenance to achieve sufficient flight capabilities. Huh, you don't say. Maybe I don't wait for Earth to find me. You wish to find your home. Without any information about the specific location, finding any location in outer space would be near impossible and an overwhelming risk. I can't change the past, but I can decide what I do with my present. And maybe I'll find my way back to a future I can actually see for myself. Everything comes with some degree of risk, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth the attempt. Risk or reward? Risk and reward. And reward. Absolutely not. You aren't using it, and Alia already has the base sets for flying her. That's not the issue, Rhea. It's not just that you know nothing about space travel. You know nothing about space, about the way life works these days. I know enough, Alia knows enough. Together we basically make one functioning modern adult. She's only a month old, and you're only just starting to function like a person, and not a paper cutout. Exactly. I'm bouncing back. I've been sitting around for months waiting for any of this to feel right, or at least something I can come to feel right about. Aaliyah has made me feel connected, but I'm also more connected to the idea that I will never be satisfied unless I Unless get out of what? Unless you shoot yourself out into space, woefully unprepared for what you could find, in the blind hopes that you find your missing planet and confirm that it's still spinning out there somewhere? Humanity is still here, Rhea. The descendants of your past world are walking all around you. Life was unfair in your time. It still is now. Only the stakes are 1,000 times higher. And there's so many unknowable dangers waiting to snap up two morsels like you. Feel the fear and do it anyway. What? The definition of courage. Feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm scared. I'm scared to get on a ship and fly away into that cruelest void after the single red thread tethered to the back of my skull. I'm scared to sit still even a moment longer without trying. Trying absolutely anything. I can't deal with this itch anymore, Tillian. Just as crisis. You were at the right place at the right time to find my sad carcass in that alley. You had the exact knowledge, skills, and technology to introduce me to Aaliyah. Now I know that you're sitting on a spaceship designed to be piloted by one person, and that doesn't feel like lightning striking a third time? Like the universe didn't want me to live, it wanted me to thrive? I think the universe did want something of us, Rhea, and that's why I can't let you take the Nova. <laughs> Tillian? The universe wanted me to help you live? Then I won't hand you the keys to your death. <laughs> your heart rate is significantly elevated. You are... Angry. It's anger. He does not wish for you to be harmed, and this makes you angry? He doesn't understand that staying here is doing the same thing to me. What will you do? <laughs> There's more than one way to peel an orange, right? There are other ways to get between planets? I... I find a way to earn some cash for myself, find out where a proper knowledge base for the galaxy is out there, and make my own way to it. I do better than let myself waste away because of what someone else believes I can't achieve. I admire your passion. Thank you, Ilya. It is late. Perhaps you should sleep on your thoughts. Perhaps I should. Mm. It's Tillian. Who else lives here? I don't want to talk to him. I don't think he's worried about that. <sighs> what is it? You awake? Take a wild guess. Right. Look, I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. 
I don't. Well, you will when I tell you that I changed my mind. Wait, what do you mean? I mean that I get it. I get what it feels like to know that you can't stay. When I came to Villafort, it was because I had to do exactly that, only in reverse. I couldn't stay on my home anymore. I didn't want my life to go the way it was being painted out in front of me, and I was able to find a way to leave, to fly away to the newest colony there was at the time, and build a place for me. I guess I'd hoped you'd come to see Villafort as something that could be a new place for you too. But you didn't choose to leave your old home behind. Choice is important. So, I took a look at the Nova. She can get you off the ground and get you to a port to start asking about which way you should be heading next. You'll need to go about finding some replacement parts. But I think you'll just be too damn stubborn to die out there, regardless of what the universe thinks. (laughs) Yeah. What you don't know about the Nova can be installed as base sets to the A unit for Aaliyah. I'm of course going to give you one heck of a crash course on piloting the old gal, so I can get some sleep when you have left. If there's a hope and heg of anyone getting away with a stunt like this, well, I'm just hoping it's you. You old softy. What will you do without me? I've got data now. I think I'm past being able to go back to being alone in this house. Anyway, piling the 101 starts at 6. Mm, how about 7? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I guess I won't need a job after all. I honestly did not foresee him changing his mind. He understood after all. We both needed to sleep on it. I have... Many things to calculate before we leave. I'm going to be honest about this, Aaliyah. I think you should stay here. What? Why? Because now it's my turn to not want to drag you into all the risks I'll be facing. You still have so much to figure out about yourself and your place in this life. I want you to have the best chance at all of it. I can take Data with me to do the technical side of everything, and you can stay with Tillian to be mentored. I don't know where all of this is going to go. Could the same not be said of staying here? Of me staying here? True. As stubborn as I am, though, I very much could die. We could die. We could also live. Why do you want to come with me? Because my life is an abrupt cascade into existence. To be born, as you are now, with all the knowledge and cultural information needed to make a person, but to have no context for it. No emotional connection, no personal connection. What is all of this to me? What am I to all of this? You told me just to experience life and make my own opinions about it. Well, let me experience it. Whatever parts and risks of it we may encounter, you trusted me to be who I am. I feel we both want to see this through. Well, alrighty then. See it through we shall.